So we have a 2006 Sprinter we salvaged from the uh, scrapyard as a non-running van. Dressed it up a little bit, put a turbo in it, put a transmission control module in it. Everything's running good. Took it for a test drive. And halfway through the test drive, we lost all power. I uh, actually stopped at a grocery store, and when we, when we left the grocery store, it didn't want to get up to speed. It will get up to speed, but it takes forever, several blocks to get up to 30 mile an hour even. All right, so this uh, MB2 by iCarsoft, got the Mercedes Sprinter software here. Select that, Sprinter, latest version, Sprinter, top version, diesel engine on the T1Ns. And slip down to manual select here. Turn on the key to the van, of course. Going into the CDI, common rail faults. We're going to read the fault memories. And we have four faults. 2511, 1482, 2133, and 2136. Today we're going to replace that EGR valve right here based on the codes we were looking at in the CarSoft. Uh, about all the tools you're going to need for a Sprinter are right here in one little box. E-sockets and Torx bits, uh, big enough variety here for just about everything Sprinter re related you're ever going to need, at least in the T1Ns. The EGR on the 04 through 06 is water cooled, a little bit different than the older 0203 models. So we'll go ahead and take that off now. It is indeed. And probably before we pull that off, we should pull the coolant off. Now, maybe a shop would be mandated to catch all this uh, antifreeze that's coming out. But home guys like myself don't have to worry about that. Disconnect the electrical, set that aside where it's safe to make sure all the bolts are loose. I'm going to work free before I take any of them all the way out. a little nudging to get it loose it seems all right so this EGR proved to be a little more difficult to get out than most so good for you you get to see all the good stuff got a nice heavy whacker here uh, I think we'll call this a size 7 persuasion tool give it a couple of whacks there till I get a little bit of a gap back here drive a little wedge in back there Give it a little more gentle persuasion up front. Tighten the wedge. A little more gentle persuasion. Side to side rocking. No, that thing is still pretty well stuck. It's coming. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ta-da! That isn't supposed to look quite like that. I mean, I would not have expected it to be all wet. 
and I never would have expected to have to beat it out of there like that. This little mechanism here should turn fairly easy and snap back, which as you can see, it is not snapping back all the way. So that's most likely our problem. A couple ways to fix it. The cheapest one is to clean it. Let's try that first. Uh, trying to keep my mess in one place. I've got a cardboard box here, a little bit of brake cleaner. Let's see if we can, oh yeah, it's messy, messy. Try to scrub that up a little bit while it's wet. After uh, spending a little time cleaning this EGR valve up, making sure all the steel wool bristles came out of it, because as I said, steel wool wouldn't be my first choice. And after using it for a minute, trying to get this black off, I decided it was a very poor choice indeed, leaving all kinds of shavings behind. Got that all cleaned out, but this EGR valve is still, performance is sad, I would say. It's not really snapping back like I'd want it to. So we'll set that aside. Grab one we pulled out of another van. You hear that, that click? That's what I want to hear. That's the way it should snap back. So I've uh, rubbed this one down with a little bit of anti-seize to make sure that we don't have that same removal problem that we had before. We've cleaned that out and I believe you saw Mike drop the shop vac in there and make sure we're not leaving any particles behind that we don't have to. Try to keep it as clean as possible because this is going into your combustion chamber and we don't want anything floating around in there scarring stuff up in the engine. Of course, we're going for a brand new EGR gasket. Set that on there. Set the, oops. Set the EGR on. Line up the bolt holes. Electrical connection back on. Hook up the hose. Clamp slid way down there. We'll put that back up on here where it belongs. Not too tight. We didn't lose a whole lot of fluid there, but we don't want to run dry or run with not enough. Zyrtec Geo 5 seems to be a good stuff. What I don't like about it is the color. Uh, it's kind of indistinguishable from water when it's dripping on the driveway. I like something nice and bright and green, but well, that bright green stuff apparently isn't the right stuff for your Mercedes system. And on that note, I think we are ready to test run.
tell her jokes, be edited out later, because she's finally coming. I've been breathing heavy for a long time. <laughs>